Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Stephanie and welcome to Simply Stephanie. I have missed you guys so, so much. It's been a minute since I have recorded a video. I just had a lot going on and I got a new puppy and so my life has just been really crazy right now. And I was trying to get a certain schedule and get my puppy on a certain schedule and now I have her on that schedule and everything is good. And I have a new video for you guys today. I wanted to film how to get big voluminous curls. To give some volume, some like life to my hair. So without further ado, keep watching to see how I achieved these big voluminous curls in my hair. That's the first step, freshly clean washed hair. This is mine. Okay, so after I have my clean hair, I like to put heat protectant all over my hair. I use the Vital Sassoon Pro Series by VS Repair, um, and I spray this all over my head. Okay, so now that I sprayed everything, I sprayed my whole head with heat protectant. I'm gonna go in with a flat brush. Oh my gosh, Ooh. Okay, so now that my hair is brushed, I'm gonna go ahead and part it in different sections to start straightening. Okay, so the first section is gonna be the bottom. Pretty much just split it right above my ear, probably like, yeah, just right above my ear. I split the bottom half and I pick up all the top half and I'm just gonna kinda do this bun up here and just clip it. Like. I'm gonna use my Nano Titanium by Babyless Pro. Not sure what the measurement is and I threw away the box. I think it's the one and three fourths, but I got it for the sake of having so much hair and having such thick hair as well. I got the wide one to get bigger chunks and this does the job. So it's gonna be set at 450 degrees, the highest setting for me. You don't have to do this. You can totally get it lower. Just work with what has worked with your hair. I don't want you to burn it off. Pretty much what I do to get big voluminous curls is just section off my bottom half in two, like so. So if it's like this, I will literally just split it down the middle and bring them forward and work on one side and then go on to the other. And I will split this in two and I pretty much just clip this on the side of my head like this and I begin straightening. So I grab my straightener and I make sure I get the root first. This, so once I have that done, I will go in and I pretty much just twist the straightener back and wrap my hair around and I hold onto it and just let it slide down. So as I'm sliding it down slowly, it'll create a spiral curl. Hopefully you can see. And I just keep going slowly, slowly, slowly until I get this. So immediately right when I get this spiral curl, I will push it back up to its normal shape that it was in and then roll it up. all the way to my scalp. Usually one big bobby pin works for me. Um, I use the Metagrip premium roller pins, like bobby pins, yeah, I use the big ones. And I just go in through the curl. Okay, so I'm gonna grab this piece that I had, the second piece. I think I'm gonna split it in two. Flip it back and wrap my hair around and slowly work my way down. So go down, down, down. And you can twist it near the end to get a bigger curl as well. There we go. And you will get a ringlet like this. Coil the curl back up. And just roll it following the way 
that the curl was made so the same direction and once again press it like this on your head grab a giant bobby pin line it through the whole curl okay and for the front as well And the second step is to part this half. I like to have a lot of volume on the top part, so I make sure from right about my temple all the way back to my crown, I will split for the top half. So yeah, right about there is where I split my second half. I'm going to go ahead and spray my heat protectant. Just on the back part, I split my hair in threes, so I'm just going to really roughly divide these three pieces and I'll just like put a bobby pin through this one just to know that that's the front piece. And once again, I'll just go in with my straightener. Okay, so I finished the second section of my hair and it should look like this. You should start looking like a pinup doll. And the last piece is gonna be this one, or the last section I mean. And this one still has a lot of hair. I have so much hair in my hair. So for my third section, I'm gonna split it down the middle like this and I'm only gonna take the front half and separate it from the rest. I would literally twist it into a little unicorn bun and just like clip it together. So yeah, I'm gonna straighten upwards and then flip all the way back and just kind of keep it tight in close to the root and then letting go. And just bringing it all the way up, still turning it, still turning it, and then releasing. Right, I'm gonna grab this piece and kind of pin it back how I did here. And I did that with the top part and now we're on the bottom section and I'm gonna pretty much do the same thing so yeah I'm just gonna flip the hair back and drag it all the way till I get this little number
And I'm just going to do the same thing as well and coil it all the way. And then I just paint it in mirrors that are noticeable, like this one. And just straighten them down. And I'll let it cool off. But while it's cooling off, I'm going to add some hairspray. I use the Aussie um, Sprunch hairspray. Once I spray it all, I'm just going to let it sit for a little bit and then I'm going to start pulling all the pieces off. Alright, I'm going to start from the bottom of my hair and I'm going to pull all the curls out, or all the pins out, and see how it curled. So what pinning the curls did is that when I would straighten it, it obviously didn't even look like this much of a curl. It definitely looked like some little like stringy ringlet. Um, so this is why I do it. It's because it gives you this body and it holds so much better. Ready? Oh my gosh, yes. Okay. So now that I kind of let go of the curls, um, I'm going to hairspray the top of it. I'm going to run my fingers through the scalp, kind of shake it back, flip it this way, shake it out. Oh my gosh, this looks so good! So I went and I changed into some green because today is St. Patrick's Day and I wanted to be a little festive and I had a new choker to wear. But I love how my hair came out like I can't stop looking at it it looks so bouncy and like curly and pretty so yeah this is pretty much what I do I always get questions about how I get my hair to be this like big voluminous curl look and I'm just like literally I use a straightener some pins and some hairspray and that's it I just part it how I would pin it all up and let it all down after add some hairspray so it can hold throughout the night um, but I also like a loose wave later on anyway. Um, thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. Turn on the notification bell. Comment what you would like to see next or if you tried this look. And um, don't forget to follow all of my social media. They will be linked down below. Thank you guys so much for watching.